Welcome back. You're watching Ian King live from the heart of the city. Now, interest rates have been at record lows for the last six years, but there are hints in the United States that its central bank, the Federal Reserve, may begin raising rates again at the end of the year. Figures out today show that consumer spending in the U.S. had boosted economic growth between April and June. Well, let's go live now to New York and to Michelle Meyer, who is deputy head of U.S. economics at Bank of America Merrill Lynch Global Research. Michelle, thanks for joining us. Growth of 2.3 percent in the second quarter was still pretty tepid, wasn't it? Fuck. <laughs> it was a little bit weaker than expected. We were looking for 3% growth, and it came in at 2.3. Um, but we did have some upper revisions to the prior few quarters. Q1, for example, was revised up to show growth of 0.6% versus the prior estimate of minus 0.2%. So the momentum into early this year looks a bit better. Um, but perhaps what was even more meaningful is that the prior three years were revised. And they were actually revised lower. In particular, 2013 was revised down by 7 tenths on an annual basis. So now we're told that growth is only 1.5% in for 2013 versus our prior estimate of 2.2%. Okay, Michelle, I must apologize. I said a rude word. One of my leads fell out there. I do apologize for that. Um, what about uh, <laughs> the okay. comparison with last year?